That was a lucky shot. I bet you couldn't do it again. Really? You want to try? Let's, let's do this again. Back up. Uh, no, I, oh. that, that, that's what I thought. We are just weeks away from Comfort Action in Soccer. Today we talked to Jade Ovendale, a junior with the women's soccer team, who's on the show to tell us not to write off the Drover women just yet. This is In the Saddle. This tent. There you are. You running for your life. You a shooting star in all the years. No one knows just how hard you work. But now it shows. In one shining moment, it's all on the line. One shining moment, they're Welcome to another In the Saddle with Drover Sports. Today we have Jade Ovendale with the women's soccer team on the show to talk about the season. Welcome to the show. Hi. So, how do you feel like the season's going? It started a little rough, but it seems to be really picking up speed. We started off a little shaky, and it's, it's been a tough start to the season. But every game we've been improving, we've got better each game, and I feel like when we get to the conference we're we're gonna we're gonna get some more wins there's no way we're gonna end up with one win this season mm -hmm. we we've been so close every game so I think if the team just sticks together we'll we'll get there so what are some of the stuff that coaches are focusing on to kind of help you guys improve um defending as a whole team from my point of attack I'm a striker so striker midfield defense Keeper, we'll have to work as a team to help defend, keep the goals out, and um, just go keep working hard and training. Get up, train, get better each day, and we'll improve. We definitely need need some help with that. I think you guys are making the goalkeeper Addie Lee work a little too hard. <laughs> yeah, she she's taking a lot right now. <laughs> we're, we're, we need to take some pressure off her. I think so. Yeah. So it's. The seasons, you guys have really gotten much better. You can tell each game that the, the team as a whole is improving, working better as a team. Yeah. What's kind of clicking for you guys now? Well, I think because we had a lot of newcomers come from different cultures and stuff, like they've been trying to get used to coming to a new school, new culture, new way USA players play. This total new ball game to what it's like in like England or Africa or wherever all the girls are from. So. We've gradually, everyone's like got used to it and slowly getting into a routine, getting up for training, playing games, playing in the heat, because in England it's freezing cold majority mm -hmm. of the time, all raining, so that's a big, that's a big factor in a lot of things, and, but we're slowly getting together and like the more we train, the more we play, the, the closer we'll get as a team. And like, as it's been a tough start, we've all gradually got closer to keep the bond going so we don't fall down as a team to keep going forward. That's great. Well, you're one of our top goal scorers. You've, you've scored an average of one a game with six goals and three assists so far on the season. Um, what's, what's your secret? Just go work hard every game in training. Got to get better and better. Like, better never stops, really, so you got to make sure you're doing the things you're not very good at each day and then trying to perfect the things that you're decent at. But at the end of the day, I don't think one goal, one goal a game is good enough, <laughs> you know, because the goals are not helping us win, so I've got to get some more goals. And obviously the team and us all get just more goals all together to help. So besides more goals, what are some of your goals for the season, both as a team and, and for yourself? As a team, the ultimate goal is to win conference and advance to national tournament. That's there's no other goal really, and just improve every day. That's a day-to-day -day goal for the team. As myself, just keep scoring goals <laughs> to to help us win conference, to maybe advance to nationals. That'd be that's probably my that's my individual to just help the team as much as I can. Okay. 
Well, you're a junior, but this is your first year at USAO. You spent two years at a JUCO here in, in Oklahoma. Originally from England, how did you find your way to Chickasha? Um, well, I was in Northern Oklahoma College in Tonkwa, small town. And um, one of my friends that played on the soccer team at NIC, she knew Annie and told her this good school to go to, good program, good soccer program, had success. And I loved the sound of it, small town, small college, good soccer mm -hmm. team. So I was like, this is the team that I'd like to try to play at. So I met up with Coach Hampton and I spoke to him and tried out and he was like, he, mu he must have liked what he saw. So then we like agreed on stuff and here I am, I guess. Well, and you're, you're from a small town in England, so it wasn't a big transition to come no. to Oklahoma, but I guess you hadn't necessarily heard of our state. Oh, no. I remember <laughs> um, when I went to NIC, I was looking into NIC, and I remember putting Oklahoma on Google, and then I went, I even went on Google Maps, like, Street View. I was, like, looking around. I was, like, I was like dirt roads, <laughs> dusty. I was waiting for, like, a little town where to come past <laughs> or something. And then I, like, learned about tornadoes, and I remember my... My nan freaking out and my mom freaking out about like tornadoes and stuff. Like, I don't know. I love the state though. I do like this state. Good. Well, we're glad to have you. Yeah. Well, thank you for being on the show and we look forward to more goals out of Hopefully, you. Hopefully, fingers crossed. <laughs>